Yo! What's up, Spartans? Alright, so today we're gonna talk about how to get a six pack, right? You know, the first thing that comes to mind is that that, that old saying. Abs are made in the kitchen. I would love to know who said that. Because abs are not made in the kitchen, boys. The only way you were creating and building abs in the kitchen is if you were actually doing core exercises in the kitchen. Okay? The abs are not made in the kitchen. No one is developing, building blocks of abs in the kitchen. You are showing your abs through your diet and your nutrition by lowering that body fat. So let's just let's just do an example, right? An individual, typically around 15% body fat, you will see the top two abs, right? That's if you're training your core, you're developing your core muscles, you're making them big and blocky. Let's say this guy, this individual, does not training his core. He's just losing weight through diet alone. He might not see his top two abs until 14 or 13% body fat, right? What I'm trying to say is you will see your abs faster at higher body fat percentages the bigger the muscle is developed. The bigger your abs are, the more they're going to pop at higher body fat percentages. Alright, so how do we train our abs? Right? This is what I like to do. A lot of people, a lot of programs, a lot of people suggest to do your core at the end of your workout. I, I suggest the complete opposite. Do a core circuit as your warm up before you even work out, right? Pick four core exercises, do them back to back to back, rest, and then do them again four times. A core circuit. So the first one I like to do is cable crunches, right? So heavy cable crunches. Then I like to do either toe to bars or laying leg raises. Then I like to do Russian twists with the medicine ball. And then the final one of the circuit is in and outs, right? So either on a bench or on the floor. That way I cover upper, low, upper abs, lower abs, obliques, everything. If you guys don't know, we offer a, a complete 72 page guide the spartan scripture of, of how to become a greek god right it doesn't matter if you're a beginner it doesn't matter if you're advanced it doesn't matter if you're skinny fat or fat fat or just have a little bit of body fat it doesn't matter if you want to lose a few pounds before your wedding or something like that it covers everybody there's a program for everybody there's meal plans there's motivation there's quick tips there's why you a big why you a big boy in the first place right if you sub on Twitch one time, you get the program. And a lot of people have Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you get the program for free. You get to test it out for free for a month and see if it works for you. And it will work for you as long as you follow the step-by-step -step guide on what it tells you to do. All right, so, so what you have to realize with, with getting a six pack, it takes time, right? You, you know, all these videos that say get you know get a six pack in six weeks, get a six pack in thirty days. That's not how it works. You're not going to get a six pack in thirty days, especially if you're brand new and you're fat and you're overweight and you're out of shape. Thirty days is is not going to happen, brother. That's why people quit because they don't see the results that they want to see in the time frame that they that, that they want them in. Right? It takes a while. As long as you're making, in the program, we preach a lifestyle, right? So as long as you're being consistent, you find your magic calorie number, combined with your workout training to put you in that very slight deficit, you're gonna lose body fat, put on muscle mass, you're gonna get that six pack. All right, so the, the technique that we use in Sparta to get a six pack, it's, you, I promise you, you have never heard of the technique that we use. Unfortunately, oh my god, bro, there's no one coming. Please hurry. All 
time. So the technique that we use, I promise you, you have never heard of this technique. But it's guaranteed for you to activate the muscles that you're trying to activate. It's so hard to hit lower core, hard to hit upper core. But with this technique, and if you've seen my Twitch channel, or you've seen a stream on Twitch, you know which, which technique I'm talking about. You will activate that lower core and upper core. Uh, the time frame for me to get my six pack was between six and eight months, right? That was with core isolation workouts, doing the circuit training before my workout. Of course, heavy compound lifts. And as always, a caloric deficit to help reduce that body fat. All right, so quick recap on getting a six pack. One. Not made in the kitchen. They're shown through the kitchen. You have to build your abs through compound movements and core isolation. Stop putting your core workout at the end of your workout. You want to get a six pack, focus on your six pack. Do them at the beginning, Do it. develop a core circuit. Use it as your warm up. Two or three, I don't know what number we're on. Allow time. It's not going to be a quick process. People expect because they're working out that they should become a Greek god in 30 days. Listen, it's going to take a while. Trust the process. Be consistent with it. Stop half-assing your workout. The results will come. Just because abs are not made in the kitchen doesn't mean the kitchen's not important. Nutrition is a huge factor. Pizza, pizza. Remember, in Sparta, we don't preach... We don't preach a drastic change, a drastic caloric deficit. We just want a slight deficit. That way we can still promote building muscle. We'll get that protein in. In abs, I, I train my abs every day. If, if they got sore, I would rest a couple days. If you're a new lifter and your abs are sore after an ab circuit, yeah, of course, rest a, rest a day or two. But typically abs can be done almost every day or every other day. I can't stress this enough. If you need one-on-one -on -one help with me, you need a program to follow, not only just to get six pack, just to feel better about yourself, to start losing some body fat, I got you. It requires only one sub on Twitch. You get my complete 72 page program on how to lose body fat and build muscle, meal plans, workout programs. Motivation, quick tips, why you a big boy in the first place, my backstory, all the all the little things you need to know on how to build muscle, right? One of the biggest things that helped me get my six pack was developing a meal plan that I enjoyed that required zero willpower to commit to. So my breakfast tastes good, my lunch tastes good, my snacks taste good. Everything tastes good, and guess what? It met my calorie goal that I needed for my slight deficit and my protein goal to help build that muscle. So it's very important knowing, not guessing, how many calories you're consuming and how much protein you're getting. Unfortunately for men, we, we tend to hold a, a lot of our body fat in our lower belly. And, and, and sadly, it's the last thing that goes for most of us. For me, it was definitely lower belly fat. That was the last thing to go. But I promise you, I promise you, if you stick to the program, you stick to that slight caloric deficit, you hit that plateau, you, you, you drop the calories just a little bit, or you increase your activity, you burn more, it will come. You just have to be consistent with the program, believe in yourself, believe in the program, believe in the process. It will come. You have to be willing to put in the work. You have to be willing to put in the work. You put in the work, the results will come. If you have asked the work, guess what? You get half-assed results. The best thing about fitness is the more work you put into it, the more dedicated you are into it, the better your results. It is a direct representation of the amount of work you put in with how you look. You work out, you have a diet, well guess what? You're gonna look like this 
man kind of works out and obviously he eats whatever the hell he wants. Right? Anyways. Yo, guys. Uh, yo, thank you for watching. I probably did another, you know, job of explaining something. Uh, just know one of the biggest keys is being consistent. And that consistency is, is required for both the exercise part of it and the nutrition side, right? Being consistent, being consistent, being consistent. That's what it takes. You have to earn it. It is not given, a six pack is not given to you. It is something that you have to earn. You have to grind for it. Just like you have to grind to get that max level in the MMO you're playing. You have to grind. It is not getting unless you buy it. I mean, you can't buy a six pack. I mean, buy a six pack of beer. You know what I'm saying. You have to earn it. Anyways, the traffic where I live is crazy. As always, you know what to do. And have a good day. This is my helmet.